friends, family, subscribers to the YouTube channel, Adventuring with the SGOCC. We are out here at our one of our secret rock hounding spots. And we're going to stop at this one just to do a little metal detecting. I'm going to do a little magnet uh, stick fishing. And uh, Cassie's got her metal detector. Yep. So we're all... There's Cassie. Hi, Cassie. And there's Tim in his steampunk hat. So we're going to do a little magnet detecting, fishing, and metal detecting, and checking out this area. This is the uh, a trailhead for one of the hiking trails. So there's a little parking area. So always a good spot to metal detect because people drop stuff out of their pockets all the time. And um, so this is a little departure. For the foreseeable future, our videos are going to be done on Sundays. So any subscribers that want to join us on any of our adventures, uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff upcoming. Uh, contact us because we're going to be doing them Sunday after church from now on. Um, so, Tim, break out your metal detector. You don't need all them shooting irons. Take your radio, though. Take the radio. I got a detector because I'm mini. Yeah, Tim and I got this metal detector for Cassie a couple of, what, a year and a half ago? A couple of years ago? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't have a good memory. So, Just in case there's a snake, mountain lion, or a bear. You know, like just to scare it away. Bear. So, it's pretty cool because all of that area up there, those hills, they're all hikeable. This is great hiking country. As you can see, there is a wash slash creek down there. So this is this is all good metal detecting area. And so we're going to have a go at it. Uh, because metal detecting takes two hands. And because, um, well, just because. Um, this is going to be a short video that just announces our intentions of where we're going. Cassie, come over to this side with your detector so people can see you. There's Cassie with her metal detector. She's going to follow Dad. Dig it up, Tim. I got my shovel in the back. Gotta dig it up, honey. Well, it's just gonna pick up the shovel. It's just gonna pick up the shovel, honey. You gotta dig a big scoop and set it in one pile and then look at the pile. Hey, you know what would make a cool video, Tim? Remember when we first got Cassie her metal detector and we went out to that wash near Grayson? Gresham, whatever that little ghost town was? That'd be a pretty good second video. You gotta put it in a pile, honey. There it is right there. It's the bolt. That bolt, you found a bolt. Pick it up. Way to go, Cass. Way to go. See? 
Let me see, honey. Here, bring it up close so we put it on video. That's what Cassie found. Pretty cool. Detected it, dug it, yeah. captured it. Way to go, honey. High five. I don't remember where I was. And where do I you were right over there. Here, take it. You want me to save that for you, honey? Yeah, sure. Okay. Excuse my fingers. Tim has detected something. Me just finding my favorite type of glass. I found it. What is it? It's a shell. Yeah, but the sign said no target shooting. That that can't be Tim, the sign said. More shells? So what Tim's doing is using his boot to move the surface stuff around because sometimes um, when you detect something and it's just metal and it's just giving you a hit, it'll be something like shell casings or like Cassie found a bolt and it's right on the surface, so if you kick your boot over this location, it'll you'll see what it is. Um, if it really sounds off, because there's different tones for different metals. If it really sounds off, and you can't find it by kicking your boot across like Tim's doing, then you break out the shovel and you dig deeper. And you dig a, dig a chunk of stuff out where, you, where it beeped, put it in a pile, hit the detector over there. If you don't find it, it's still in the hole, and you keep going. Did you find another something? I Look don't at know that. What this is. Cassie found another something. I don't know. Ah! 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 This is what Cassie found. A little piece of metal. We'll save it. Cassie, you don't have to freak out when you see a bug. All that, all that screaming though won't make the bug go away. I think Tim might find a uh, a gold simoleon from a Spanish uh, conquistadors. Yeah. <laughs> it can happen. There's a raspberry zinger out there somewhere for us, Tim. And again, if, if anybody, our subscribers or viewers, want to sponsor an adventure, we have a list of about 75 places that we want to go visit. And uh, either metal detect, uh, abandoned mines to explore, um, Johnny Ringo's gravesite over in, Wil in uh, Wilcox. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff we want to do. But times is tough and gas is going up again, so we're trying to stick to a once a week schedule and we're going to try to adhere to that. So, like I said, if anybody wants to sponsor something, it'll be posted, that video will be posted in your name, so it'll be, it'll be yours forever on YouTube and in the cloud. So, 
all we ask is gas money and if it's a long way some some snacks and juices and stuff because uh, there's some stuff like um, like the John the Geronimo um, monument where he surrendered I have a question that's pretty cool but it's about two hours from here there's a lot of stuff that's two hours three hours from here well, Cassie just asked me a good question. Is this quartz? Yes, it is, honey. Hmm. You want to save it? Yeah. Okay. It can be polished. I'm finding it everywhere. Yeah, there's a quartz mine up above us on the mountain, honey. So quartz is just going to be like, yay! It's behind us. It's yep, behind that us. direction. When we go up to the other site, the more secret site, that's where we'll find tons of quartz like we did last time, honey. All right, well, Tim's going to continue metal detecting. I'm going to get out now and use my magnet stick and try to find stuff that's magnetic. Maybe a meteorite. All right, more to follow. We'll uh, pick this back up at the other site.